I'm sure it's nothing you don't like. Hey boys, what's up? It's your boy Colazo here today guys and today I'm going to be bringing you another duelist video in this video We're going to be doing some laddering uh, And today uh, I think we're going to play some Heonar. I love Heonar. It's one of my favorite archetypes right now to play I've just been digging it man. It's all I've been playing is Heonar. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully we do pretty well if we do uh, You know, maybe I'll bring you guys a deck tech of this uh, of this deck, but um until I know for sure that it's really good, then I'm not going to bring you it. But we'll do some laddering, see how it goes. It's end of season laddering. Um, we're definitely not going to make S rank. But we'll be diamond again, which is fine. We've been diamond for the past, like, forever. So we're playing Dragonair. It's a pretty dope name. All right, he's playing Starhorn. Um, five Magmar Ribbon. So he, he looks like he's probably pretty good. We're going to drop this. Holy IMO, uh, Draining Waves, Sunbloom. What do I want to Sunbloom? Let's drop the Sunbloom from now. Oh, why do I have this on here? I thought I got rid of that, but I'm going to have to go through the scripts and uh, disable it. But that's fine. But basically, it's going to show us what's in our deck and um, uh, what we have left in our deck. Like, we saw one Draining Eye left, one Afterglow, things like that. Our Afterglow, isn't that our uh, Bloodborne spell? I think. Um, we're gonna start out the game here with the Silver Guard Knight and call it a turn. We're gonna drop the Dancing Blades, get a Healing Mystic, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's just Draining Wave this. Let's not let him summon anything cheap. Let's not, let's not let him ramp, not let him summon nothing. At least not for cheap. So yeah, uh, maybe he's playing Floodhorn, who knows though. Um, if he is, uh, Battle Pets could be out here. Um, he's actually going to run away because we got advantage now. He's playing a Vindicator. Hmm. He's going to build that Vindicator up. We're going to drop a Holy Immolation. Another Draining Wave. Um, I think we're just going to keep applying the pressure here. We are going to drop a... Um, oh, I should probably drop the uh, Sunrise or somewhere else, right? Draining Wave. I need to Draining Wave this now. We're going to Draining Wave that, um, and then I think we're going to play the Healing Mystic and heal up. Hopefully we draw a Trinity Oath. That would be real nice. Uh, right now, we got full board control. He's not going to do anything, or he can't really do anything, because we keep pushing, uh, keep pushing back at him towards the wall, and then we're also killing all his minions every time he plays one. Chrysalis Burst. Ooh, that's pain. Okay. Um, we can get this one. We can get. I wish I could see him, but, you know, this thing's in the way right here. Um, that's really annoying. I'm not going to lie. Next game, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know why it's still here. I thought I took it off in the scripts. Uh, apparently, I did not. Um, so, here's our play, right? We punch him. Holy IMO there to get rid of both eggs, kill him. Uh, I don't know what this is going to be, but I'd rather, rather not take the chance and let's just kill it, right? Um, let's keep our Silver Guard Knight by us. We'll call that a turn. Alright, we gave him a Huntress, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, we got Dancing Blades in hand, Iron Cliff Guardian, and a Sunriser. And now a Circle of Life. Natural Selection. He's gonna get rid of my Healing Mystic. That's fine. Rather him get rid of that than my Silver Guard Knight. And he's gonna run. He is indeed gonna run. Um, third play. Drop the circle of life. Sunforge Lancer, there we go. Now that allows us to pull off some plays. Which plays? That's the answer, right? I think we slowly keep moving forward and just like drop an iron cliff like uh Uh what do I want to drop the iron cliff? Let's drop it here. We'll call that a turn. Hopefully it stops him from moving around. 
I won't be able to kill the Huntress. Um, he's got natural selection, the Iron Cliff. He's probably going to kill off the Silver Guard Knight here as well. Oh my god, how many natural selections, bro? Give me a break. Natural selection everything. That's fine. Uh, we can't even dance in Blades out because it grows. Yep, there it goes. Um, okay, so... Can we get some pings off Sunriser? That's the real question. Um, Sunforge Lancer, right? Ooh, hello, Holy Immolation. Think, think this is our only play. Um, by Holy Immolation here, I can deal four damage to him. My Sunforge Lancer will be hit, but that's fine because it provides us a creature. This gets rid of the Huntress, deals some damage to him a little bit. Now we're tied and I have a creature on board. Um, that's fine. We'll deal with it. We also drew another Sudden Forge Lancer, so that's fine, too. Damn, this shit is annoying. Let me tell you what. Alright, so we don't have no more Draining Waves. We have one Afterglow Bloodborne spell, so stupid. Um, I say Seek and I. That's his ability. I don't know. I gotta get rid of this. That's annoying. Alright, so he's wasting four mana to Egg Morph. That's fine. That's fine. Vindicator, that's fine too, because we are going to Dance and Blades the shit out of that. Yep, that's going to be our play, Dancing Blades. Dancing Blades into a Sunforge Lancer, into smacking the shit out of them. Keep Sunriser in hand, that's a good card. Trinity Oath is exactly what we needed right now, because now we have some draw uh, to our engine here. Um... Let's see if he has the spell. No, he's playing something on Mana Tile. Decimus, he's about to do massive damage. Seeking Eye, that's fine. We could probably kill that off next turn, to be honest. Can we kill it off? Let's see. We have nine mana, boys. We have nine mana, right? Let's drop the Sun... Uh, what can our Sun Sister do, right? When anything is healed. But I can only heal one thing, right? Yeah, currently. Or, if I play this... No. I won't have enough. Scintilla, boys! That's what we fucking needed. Um... Yeah, this combo's pretty dope. So we're gonna play the Sunriser here. We're gonna play the Scintilla uh, back here. We're gonna smack. Smack there. Smack there. Heal up is going to double ping and I, then we win. Because I heal and uh, this heals. And then we uh, we beat them out right there. Scintilla plus Sunriser is so dope. Such a dope combo. Such a dope, dope, dope combo. So yeah, man. Heal and R. Heal and R is my shit. Um, just for the sake of the video, we're just going to play another one and just ignore the thing on the side. Um... Uh, Next video, that won't be there. I'll get rid of it. All right, Mr. Bags. All right, Mr. Bags. Let's go. All right, cool. This allows us to start out with a shaman. This man doesn't have any ribbons, um, which doesn't mean much. It just it pretty much just says I play longer than he does. Circle of Life is a hard counter to, um, to Amara Healer. Because it won't do any damage to me because I just gained the health right back. Um, healing Mystic. I have a lot of ways. I'm looking for a Sunriser, though. Um, we'll start out with Healing Mystic. Damn. Drop to Iron Cliff. Look for Sunrisers, boys. You know what? Draining Wave's good, too. That's that can. Uh, that's a good start. I could Draining Wave. Uh, that deals 4 damage, so if he plays an Obelisk, I can deal 4 damage and then hopefully kill it with my Healing Mystic or Zeron. So, um... We could do that. And if you if you play um, Xerx and he plays a lot of Obelisk, um, as long as you take out his Obelisk quick, then he's pretty easy. Uh, he's going to start out with a Healing Mystic probably into a Pax. To a Staff of Yukir, maybe. Staff of Yukir. Okay, that's an odd play. But we can go with that. Um, what's our plays here? 
It's on Forge Lancer, right? No. I like playing Sudge Forge Lancer when I can get use out of them. Ooh, a Scintilla. I love Scintilla. I love Scintilla. But actually, I think... Um... I think this is the better play. I could be wrong, right? I think we're going to take out the Healing Mystic here and just play a Silver Guard Knight. Um, this kind of provides us more board presence. He won't be able to kill this in one hit next turn, so he's going to have to at least hit it twice unless he equips like another Staff of Ykir or he has um, uh, Rasha's Curse or something like that to, to summon something this turn with Rush. Uh, in our hand, though, we're looking pretty good. We can get some Forge Lancer on board and start bumping up our general. Um, that we could do. Ooh, a Repulsor Beast. I was not expecting that. Repulsor Beast. Okay, that's fine. He's going to whack me for four, I would assume. Nope, he's, he's going after minions. All right, he has one mana. He can't do nothing. First off, let's get our Silver Guard Knight rolling back over here towards our side of the board. Um... We could play Sunforge Lancer back here, right? Get Sunforge Lancer into, um... Sunforge Lancer into Herald. I put it there. Into Herald, yeah, right? Sun Sister could help against Obelisk. Uh, Draining Wave is good against Obelisk. Until is a good card in general. Iron Cliff Guardian slows him down. Our hand's pretty good. We're looking pretty good. He can one hit this, but at least he'll take a he'll take a, a durability off his artifact unless he plays a Falcius. But he's going up top, which is fine because Xerx. I mean, the only thing Xerx can really play that would be a problem for us is uh, like Scab or something like that. Um, he's playing a Herald of his own, actually. I don't know what kind of deck we're playing. I mean, if he if he made it to Diamond this season and he doesn't have any ribbons, uh, you know, he could be pretty good. He could be pretty good. All right, what's our plays, boys? Uh, Iron Cliff Guardian is definitely a good one. We could Sun Sister Uh heal. I think I think what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna move up here. We're gonna move up here. We're gonna move up here. We're gonna move back here right uh sun sister right sun sister provides us good abilities right but i don't want it to get killed but i also don't want to put it far enough away to where i won't be able to use it he, he doesn't have anything with frenzy right no so i think we're gonna sun sister we're gonna smack here oh i didn't think this through if I heal up, right, if I heal him up, I'll get a true strike, but I won't have mana to use it. Damn. I should have placed my Sun Sister here, and then, yep, yep, yep. Misplayed. Misplayed hard. Did I just Draining Wave this? Heal up to five. You know what? No, we'll just, we'll just go up to five. It's a two, it's gonna be a, um gonna be a 2-1. I don't need a Draining Wave that. I'd rather keep Draining Wave. We got a True Strike. We can get rid of it easy. End our turn. Ooh, Double Sunforge Lancer is pretty dope. Pretty dope. So, uh, something Vitruvian struggles with is uh, ranged threats. Watch him somehow get this. But n normally they struggle with ranged threats. Um, I actually set up for a really easy... Um, uh, he's shrouded. Probably shrouded here. Yeah, I figured he would. Um, I actually misplayed because I set up for a pretty easy um, Star's Fury. I'm going to take mana. He's only got two cards in hand, so he's going to be struggling a little bit here. We just got to keep applying that board pressure on top of him, and I think we're going to be good. Repulsor Beast. Going to move our Silver Guard Knight back again. Um, that's fine. We can We can always get rid of that. Um, okay, um, what's our plays? Our tree strike is actually pretty good. This is gonna allow us to eliminate one of these uh, threats here that we have. They have on board. It's just which one do I want to get rid of, right? First off, we're gonna move him up. I think we're gonna drop the draining wave. I think we have enough creatures on board. Blister and Scorn's great. Um, that would clear two threats for us. 
and provide a good creature on board. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're actually going to play the Blister and Scorn. Um, it gets rid of one of his durability. Um, get rid of that, get rid of that, right? Um, we will... Come down here, punch this. We'll just smack this up. But we'll keep the true strike in hand, right? In case he plays something that gets in the way. Um, yeah. And I think our hand's looking pretty good. Hand's looking pretty good. We have him basically trapped in a corner with two cards in hand. Uh, well, he did have two cards in hand. Even if he plays Scarab, right? He plays Scarab, I can kill it pretty easily. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna double Sunforge Lancer here. And we're gonna Sunforge Lancer into, um, got my Bloodborne spell, right? Watch this. I think we, into a Scintilla. And we just move all these guys just a tad bit closer. We'll just heal up our uh, our Sun Sister here. We'll gain some health. We'll double uh, heal or double attack because of them. We're at 922. We're a big threat right now, boys. We're a big threat. Um, next turn, we can Iron Cliff Guardian and just trap them, basically. I think we we basically have the game, to be honest. I, I don't think he's going to get out of this one. He could. There's a Herald. There you go. He's getting some life back, so there's that. Uh, but I'm getting health because he gained life. That's fine. Sion's first wish. That actually, that worked against him. Incineraria. Okay. Why would you move that way? Okay. Um, th let's drop the true strike. We don't need it. Let's just get rid of it. Sun Sister. Okay, now we can get more true strikes. Fantastic. Now, can I win? That's the real question, right? Can I win? I have my Bloodborne spell. Um, but can I win? I go this way, right? Whack him for one. Move heal here. Bleh. Heal him up. 13, 15. We won. I thought we won, but I just want to make sure. Let's see how big we can make our general. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We're a 1925. Well played, sir. Well played. That's what happens when you don't deal with Sunforge Lancer, boys and girls. Definitely when you get double Sunforge Lancer. Alright boys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Heelnar deck, it's pretty fucking dope. If you guys want to see a deck tech of this deck, let me know, comment down below, and I'll definitely upload uh, my version of this deck. It's a little different than you've probably seen elsewhere, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal, and as always, I'm your boy Klazo. I hope you guys keep on dueling, I'll see you guys next time.